Two Suncoast teenagers are being remembered tonight after dying in separate incidents this weekend. 17-year-old Terrell Rawls was killed outside of Manatee County Theater, and 19-year-old Justin Eights died in a drive-by shooting on Saturday. As it is, Melissa Warren was at the schools each of the victims attended in Sarasota today, and she has more now from our newsroom on how they're being remembered. Melissa? It's been a very difficult few days for those at Riverview High School where Rawls was about to begin her senior year and Sarasota Military Academy where Eights just graduated last year. Very tra tragic situation, absolutely. Lives that were lost too soon, uh, not knowing what could have been. Uh, of, of their lives and how they would have impacted others. But their spirits will impact those who knew them forever. I know that uh, Justin impacted us greatly here at Sarasota Military Academy. Um, every single day he had a smile on his face. He had a wonderful sense of humor and uh, he always looked out for others as well. I mean, just her presence. She'd come in the room and smile, and she commanded respect. Um, she was very well known in the community. She went to school with all these children. It could make you be in the happiest mood no matter what was going on in your life. Friends of the teens say the gun violence that claimed their lives must stop. It's not a Sarasota issue. It's not a Florida it's a issue. It's a world issue. Um, kids are killing kids every single day violently with guns. And what can we do as a school and a community to help stop the violence? Getting out there and, and teaching kids leadership and self-discipline and also providing those opportunities to know the appropriate ways to handle uh, guns and gun safety. Bowman and Dunham say the legacies and tragic deaths of Aids and Rawls won't soon be forgotten. Um, we're also going to, as a school, buy her a legacy block that we put down here on our legacy walk in memory of her. We're going to save a yearbook page for her and we're going to save her seat at graduation. The pain that their families are in, um, we send our prayers and our thoughts out to them and, and that anything that we can do to help, uh, we certainly would like to know. Crisis counselors were at Riverview yesterday, and Dunham says about 40 students and parents came out for support. So if you have that many people coming in for support in the summer, what's it going to be like when school starts for, for kids? Well, I'm sure it will be difficult on them, but Dunham says they will have a memorial at their first home football game on August 22nd, where some proceeds will go to her family to help with their expenses. Well, two young lives lost way too soon. Melissa, thank you.